Hi there, I'm Jill Wellington and I'm going to show you how to use my sparkly snow overlays. I created these overlays for my own professional portrait work because I really wanted something unique, different, whimsical for winter portraits. And that's exactly what these overlays are, as you will see. First of all, pick a photo from the winter that you want to add the snow overlays to and bring that photo into Photoshop. I'm using CS6. Also load the star sparkly star overlay that I am offering for free. Look at it, lots of little sparkly snow. That doesn't look normal, but it does add that whimsy that we're looking for. So go ahead and pull this down out of the palette and we're going to click up here on the move tool and now click on the picture and just drag it right over the other picture you're done with this now you can go ahead and X on of it now just stretch on the corners right over your picture till it fits over it and go ahead and apply that Next, you're going to want to go up to your blend modes, which is marked normal above your layers palette. Click on that and in the drop down menu, click on screen. Look at, you can already see those pretty sparkly snowflakes, but they're also all over her face where we don't want them. So first of all, I'm going to go down on the opacity just a bit by using this slider. I'm going to go down to about 65%. Now we're going to add a layer mask to get rid of these snowflakes on our face. Go down to the bottom of your palette here and click on this to create a layer mask. It's a little square with a little dot in the middle. Click on that and it creates a layer mask. You can see it in the layer up here as this white square. Now you're going to use a black soft edge brush to remove it. So go over here and toggle with these little arrows. You'll see how you can move it back and forth from black to white. You want the black in front. Now go up and grab your brush, click on it, and go up here and make sure you have a soft edge brush. Now we are going to have the opacity down right here. I'm going to put this down to about, I have it on 67, because we don't maybe want to take all of it off because we want to leave a little bit. So let's go ahead and enlarge our brush using the right bracket key and erase off of the main parts of her face. I, I don't like any on the eyes, so I'll go in and definitely remove all of it off of the eyes. But that looks very pretty. I actually am going to lower the opacity overall just a tad more. And doesn't that give it a unique and happy, lighthearted look for winter? That's what we need in the winter. So have a good time playing with this.